What if I told you there's an AI right now that can diagnose diseases better than doctors, but it can't tie its own shoelaces? Sounds strange, right? That's just the tip of the AI iceberg. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of narrow AI, general AI, super intelligent AI, and AGI. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll not only understand these terms, but also see how they're shaping your future. So, grab your chai and let's unravel the mystery. Imagine you're building a robot. It can play chess like a grandmaster, checkmate in four moves, but ask it to play cricket and it's clueless. Why? Because it's designed for one specific task. This is what we call narrow AI and it's everywhere. Example, Siri. Alexa and Google Maps are narrow AI at work. Though, let's admit Siri still struggles to understand Indian accents sometimes. Play Jalebi Baby becomes playing jelly beans. Narrow AI dominates the world today. It's powerful but single-minded. Now, let's level up. What if your robot could play chess, cook dinner and clean the house all without breaking a sweat? That's general AI or AGI. Artificial General Intelligence. It's the stuff of dreams right now. AGI refers to AI that can perform any intellectual task a human can do. Example, think of Jarvis from Iron Man, an AI assistant that can analyze threats, crack jokes, and even recommend dinner plans. But here's the catch. A GI doesn't exist yet. Why? We'll get to that in just a bit. Now, Let's imagine an AI that's smarter than all humans combined. It can solve problems we didn't even know existed. This is what we call super intelligent AI. Sounds exciting and terrifying, right? Example, AI predicting and solving climate change or curing cancer in seconds. But let's hope it doesn't decide humans are the problem and start its Terminator audition. Scientists warn that superintelligent AI could be humanity's last invention, if not controlled. So if we've dreamed about AGI and superintelligent AI for decades, why don't we have it yet? Blame the AI winters. Periods when AI research slowed due to lack of funding or progress. Example. In the 1970s and 1980s, AI hype crashed because machines couldn't deliver what was promised. But thanks to advances in computing and data, AI is now thriving like never before. Today, we're building bridges toward AGI with techniques like deep learning, neural networks, and reinforcement learning. Companies like OpenAI and Google DeepMind are leading the charge. Example. AlphaGo defeating world champions in the complex game of Go. And who knows? Maybe one day, AI will help us finally figure out why Bollywood songs make us cry even when we don't understand the lyrics. So where does that leave us? Narrow AI is helping us today. Whether it's diagnosing diseases, powering self-driving cars, or even recommending memes. AGI and superintelligent AI are the future, but it's up to us to guide their development responsibly. Want to know how AI ethics fits into this equation? That's a story for another day. Subscribe to AI Tutor to make sure you don't miss it. The journey of AI is just beginning, and you're part of it. So, are you ready to shape the future? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what excites or scares you the most about AI. Don't forget to like, share, and hit the bell icon for more AI magic. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing.